Yo, it's BJ with StreamFit, and today I'm gonna show you how to save your shoulders with the TRX Shoulder Raise Series. Your shoulders are a very hypomobile joint. Because of that, we've gotta really create a lot of stability around the shoulder to keep it safe, healthy, so you can be doing push-ups and pull-ups for the rest of your life. You may not want that, but I'm gonna make that happen, all right? So we're gonna get set up. Naomi's gonna get the TRX positioned. We're gonna go wide stance, and we're gonna do a series of movements that are gonna isolate the muscles of your scapula the mid, lower, upper traps, rear shoulders, upper back area, so important for posture, so important to keep those shoulders safe. We're gonna start with the shoulder raise, T. Shoulders down and back, slight bending the elbows, but beyond that, no extra flexion. So we're isolating this area. Because of this isolation aspect, the biceps aren't really assisting in the movement, it really puts more tension on the upper mid back. If all you do is push-ups and presses, you end up looking like this and these muscles get really, really weak, and that's when these babies can get in big, big trouble. We can actually move to a W, so that was more of a T movement. A W is gonna get a little bit different part of your upper back. Really hits the rear shoulders. We can go to a Y after the W. Every variation hits your upper back in a different way, all having unique benefits. We can go overhead in, in an I, which is gonna put extra tension on your lower trap, which actually keeps your shoulders down when you move your arms overhead. Very important because if these, those muscles are weak, your shoulders can get impinged on and they start to click and make disgusting sounds that you never want. Love it. We can obviously increase or decrease the body angle to make it easier or harder. So if Naomi got flatter to the floor, that makes it harder. If she got higher, it makes it easier. But one really cool thing to bring your shoulders and hips together at once is get in, let's get set for the T. She's gonna go from a wide base. Let's do a couple reps with the wide base. Back to that T, slight bending the elbows. Squeeze, try to crack a nut between the shoulder blades. Then she can go close feet. Now the hips have to stabilize a little bit more. And then she can go one leg. The one leg is now gonna get the entire back side of the body. This glute must engage. It must engage to keep her hips and shoulders square. So now we're getting two of the most neglected parts of your body, upper mid back, glutes, together, great exercise, do it today, get stream fit.